the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. And veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara, and the king, yes, the king. It had been quite a few weeks since Baby Wombat had been rescued after his accident with the departing trappers. You can have too much of a good thing, I say. And he's had too much of a good thing, that boy of mine. <coughs> There's things to do, places to be seen, food to be eaten. About time he came home, I think. Hey, what? What? What's going on? Ah, oh my. Get out of it, you Then a wombat's burrow is supposed to be his castle. Wombat had a plan, a surprise for his son. Indeed, the whole family. He was quite excited about it. But of course, being wombat, he couldn't possibly let on. That last try was hopeless, Baby Wombat. Try again. Hey! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do with you, Charlie. Laugh or cry. Sorry, Grandad. Baby Wombat kind of slipped. Looks to me, for a supposedly injured wombat, he was having too much fun. I reckon there's not a lot wrong with him now, Charlie. He's made a good recovery, and we should give him back to the bush. But it's great having him here. He's been fun. Yeah, well, it might be. But you're spending all your time playing instead of doing your chores. And he's getting too used to humans. Not good on either score. Eh? Hey? <laughs> well, looks as though the problem might be solved. Right. That's it, sunshine. Nothing wrong with you. Back home. Father, I've missed you so much. Yeah, looks like it. Now, come on. But I'm not really better yet. Don't try that one on me. I seen you playing, and if you can play, you can come home. Oh, please, Father. They've been so kind to me. And, and what about your own mother and sister? <coughs> they aren't exactly cruel, are they? Mum? Oh, well, why, of course not. I just thought of... You just sort of forgot about them, didn't you? Pining away. Wondering if they'd ever see you again. I'm sorry. I missed them too. Right then. Move out. Baby Wombat! Leave him be, Charlie. His father knows what's best. We've done our bit. Yeah, guess you're right, Grandad. Don't dawdle. Don't dawdle. What's the hurry? Well, if you must know, we're going away. Away? 
on a holiday to visit our cousins up north. Get you away from them humans and me away from all those pesky brumbies and nosy emus. Oh yes, the sun is shining bright and my heart is feeling light. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Hmm. Wombat's got his pesky kid back from the humans. It's a shame they didn't nab the old man as well. <coughs> hold it. Oof! I said hold it. Don't you hear nothing? But you said don't dawdle. Don't answer back. Now, pay attention. This log is covered in moss. It's long and slippery. I'll go first, and when I get to the other side, you follow. <laughs> Here's my chance for a bit of fun. <laughs> Typical. Oh, oh, oh. Typical. Typical. Right. Everybody into line. Our northern cousins are awaiting our arrival. <laughs> and we have a considerable distance to travel. So keep close. Don't grumble, keep your eyes open for any tucker, and follow me. And good riddance to bad rubbish. If I were standing a bit further away, I couldn't see you. I'd think you were just part of the trees. Well, that's the secret, Eurala. If you don't want to be found by a creature who's after you, or if you want to creep up on a creature without being seen, you've got to look for cover that you can blend into. And move silently. <laughs> and move silently. You're learning well. Oh, thanks, Thaura. It's important to learn the tricks of the bush. My father, the mighty Yarraman, was the bravest and strongest king of the Cascade Brumbies. I watched him and learned. And my mother, Belle Belle, was wise and knew the ways of the high country better than any other Brumby I'd known. Gee, I'm lucky having such a good teacher, aren't I? <laughs> I guess you are. But only because I was willing to learn. Oh, so am I. Well, of course you are. But it takes time. Oh, I know, Thaura. But I really want to learn. Ow! Out of the way. Out of the way. Come on, move it. Out of the way. And another thing that's important to remember, Eurala, is that while there are lots of wombats, <laughs> there's only one wombat. Oh, I heard that. Where are you off to, wombat? North, to get away from the flattery and the useless creatures that spend their whole lives getting in me way. <laughs> Have a good journey, then. Mm, I don't want one. I just want a holiday. Let's find a spot for some camouflage practice. But is it enough, Newt? Well, enough? Satisfaction, enjoyment, sense of fulfilment. Ah! Oh, you mean life, our lives. Yes, I think so. You? Yes. Well, maybe. 
Perhaps. Quite content. Ish. We should do more. Perhaps. More. We're out of the way. Wombat's coming through. Wombat's coming through. Oh, hello, Wombat. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Small world. Oh, you try to take a shortcut round the cliff face to avoid traffic jams, and you run into two galumphing gossips blocking the way. Out of the way. Get out of the way. I fear that might be difficult. Oh, possibly impossible. Can't even get away on a holiday without someone making life difficult. And nothing's impossible. Oh, but you see, Wombat, emus can't walk backwards. Oh, and there certainly isn't room to turn around. Oh, you're blocking me holiday. Get out of the way. A holiday? How wonderful. Tell us all about it. Can't, shan't and won't. No time for a chat. You two feather brains are supposed to be birds, so start flying. Oh, but we've been through this before. Emus don't fly. Just ask Mopoke. He says we're short of long wings, aerodynamics and other things. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I simply don't believe it. Righto, family. Forward. <laughs> What do you know? <laughs> Emus can't fly. We're on a holiday. We're on a holiday. Very, very, very far, far away. Tra-la-la-la-la. -la <laughs> no singing. Oh, Dad. Are we there yet? No, we're not. Now, just be quiet and enjoy the trip. It's very educational. How? It just is, that's all. <laughs> See? Told you. There's a mopoke. What's educational about a mopoke? Quite a lot, as you should know. My knowledge is portfolio. Oh, oh, oh no, not that mopoke. Would you like a little tip? How to make time pass on your trip? Oh, yes, please, Mopoke. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> this is my holiday, Mopoke, not yours. And I'll tell them what to do. With lively eyes, just look around. There's many wonders to be found. Your spirits will soar to magnificent heights as you absorb the wonders of nature's delights. Thanks, my poke. There's too much talking, and talking's not allowed on holidays. Nasty, mean, and often crude. That wombat's now just far too rude. <laughs> hey, what, what, what? Mm. What funny-looking ants? Ants. Ants, did I say? Ah! Wombats. The whole family. What are they doing this far from home? <laughs> My dear friend, as I live and breathe, what brings you and your charming family to this neck of the woods? Friend? You think I don't remember that slippery log? That? Ah, oh, that was all a misunderstanding. I thought I saw a flea on your back and... Flea? The only flea around here is the one you have in your head, flea brain. Naturally, one is interested in the activities of one's friends, and I was simply curious that... <laughs> Revenge! I'll get those wombats back somehow. Huh? Now what have we here? Ah, a strange filly, a newcomer to the high country. Oh, the Brolga will certainly want to know about that. Ah. 
This'd be right. This'd be right. One more ridge after this one and we'll be there. <coughs> Haven't we been here before, Father? Been here before? What are you talking about? You've never visited the cousins before. Uh, but that pond... Nonsense! Lots of ponds look like that. I... I... Well, well done, Baby Wombat. Well spotted. That's just a little trick of mine to see how observant you all are. Oh, be quiet, you empty-headed egghead. <laughs> right. Follow me. Oh, mighty Bralga. Spicy gossip. Eh? Huh? Strangers have entered your territory. Strangers? Who and what? Vicious, cruel wombats, Mercurial Magnificence. A whole family of them. Vicious, cruel... What are you talking about, Karawong? Since when have wombats been vicious and cruel? These are, sire, I assure you. You must crush the living daylights out of them with your mighty hooves. I'm beginning to smell a Karawong. Rat, I mean rat, Karawong. Do you owe them something you don't want to pay back? Oh, 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 oh no, mighty sire. I promise you, they're evil and mean and... <laughs> don't waste my time with your personal vendettas, Karawong. If that's all you've got to say... Uh, but, 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 there, 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 there's the other stranger, sire. Huh? Other stranger? <laughs> a young Brumby, mighty Brolga. Oh, an ideal candidate for your herd. A young Brumby, eh? And you waste my time with rubbish about wombats? Lead the way! Aye, 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 Uh-oh. A stranger seems to have come to stay, mainly because she has lost her way. <laughs> her spirits are looking pretty low. I have a feeling Bara should know. <laughs> yeah, that'll be right. Another Brumby, another traffic jam. I'm very sorry, Wombat. I'm very tired and weary, and I didn't expect a family of Wombats to come along. Well, well, you should have. I've come such a long way, from the south, and uh, I'm a little lost. So are we. We are not. Is the south a long way? About four days' gallop. Four days' gallop? Now that is lost. Well, why don't you go back south and stop bothering us? Can't help you. I don't want to go back south. I'm searching for my lost brother. My father, the great Paleface, is sick, so he sent me to find the wise old kangaroo, Benny, who he was sure would be able to help me. Benny? Oh, we could help her find Benny, couldn't we, Father? No. We're on holidays. We're... I'd be very, very grateful for your help. Oh, go on, Father. She really needs our help. Please... Oh, all right. <clears throat> there you go. Taking advantage of me soft heart once again. <clears throat> but we'll help young... young... Gunda. Yes, young Gunda to find Benny. Who needs a holiday anyway? Thank you, Wombat. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Brolga. Run for your life. Righto, family. Follow me. Go, mighty Brolga! Go! Quit 
you must race. The brogue is now in on the chase. <laughs> What's keeping you, Broga? Getting too old for a good chase. This time, Thara, you've gone too far. I am the king of the Cascade Brumbies. I have no time for your impertinence. And I have no time for bluster and bullying of innocent strangers. What? Who are you? <laughs> Smarted yourself this time, Thaura. You're not powerful enough to beat me, and you're never gonna get the chance. It's a long way to the bottom of that cliff. Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wombat, you're a real friend. Not that now. You brumbies have spoiled me, Holiday. <laughs> a big welcome home to Wombat, a real hero. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Too much noise. Right, family, follow me. Bye, Wombat. At least I got to meet you, unlike the legendary Thara. Bye, Wombat. And you're a legend in your own time, too. <laughs> <laughs> so some creatures of the high country had learnt a lesson. Despite Wombat's gruff facade, he was a brave and trusted friend. And the holiday had another good result. Gunda had certainly come to the right place to get help finding her lost brother.
Karawong probably suffered most from Wombat's disastrous attempt to take his family on holidays. But whether Wombat himself learnt any lessons from the adventure or from his rudeness is hard to say. But the holiday did discover a newcomer to the high country, <coughs> Gunda, the filly from the south, who had come in search of her lost young brother. Stupendous star. Have you been gallivanting around enjoying yourself when you should have been working? Enjoying myself? But your exalted concupiscence, I've scarcely recovered from being trampled by wombats. Then you... <laughs> ah. I'm not interested in your feeble excuses. You were shirking, Karawong. And no one likes a shirker. Oh, no, your limited convergence. I well, was... if you weren't shirking, you were working. So, what have you got to report? Report? What have I got to report? Well, uh... Uh, Just as I thought. Nothing. No sign of that filly who escaped thanks to Thaura's interference. But I've searched and searched and I... No buts, Karawong! Get airborne and search again, till you find her. But, but... No buts, I said! Now get going! Going, going. Good as gone. But... <laughs> What do you say? Interested in joining my herd? Nothing's changed, Arrow. We're not interested in joining your herd. Even if one existed. Oh, yeah. Well, that was before. Things are different now. You've had time to think, to weigh up the possibilities, to see how impressive I am. <laughs> yeah, and to change your mind. Mm, it's that Dalt Arrow. At it again with my master's daughters. Doesn't he ever give up? Look, girls, the Brold is getting too old for the job. Won't be long before I take over his kingdom and his herd. And you two could be head mares. If you play your cards right, you won't regret it. Well, if you put it that way, Arrow. It does sound tempting, doesn't it? I suppose we could think it over again. <laughs> Why are you whispering? And where is the filly? Uh, uh, which question do you want answered first, oh, Sybil and Santa? The reason I was whispering is... <laughs> that was not the question, and there's no reason to whisper when there's no one about. Now tell me about the filly. Uh, the filly? Well, yes, I found Arrow. What are you babbling about, you odious wretch? I ask you about the filly, and you tell me about whispering. I ask you about the filly, and you tell me about Arrow. What about the filly? But your loquacious mendaciousness, I'm just trying to explain. I was on my way to find her when I spotted Arrow trying to get your daughters to join his head. <laughs> Fancy that oafish dolt thinking any daughter of mine would have anything to do with him. <sighs> but it's been a dull day so far. We're going to have some fun. Come on! Coming. Oh, enigmatic uniqueness. I'm as strong and brave as your father, as you've probably noticed. But of course, he's much older and more experienced and... He'd be pleased to hear you say that, Arrow. Yeah, well, anyway, one day soon I'll beat him. And then it'll be me up there, King of the Brumbies! It won't be long. Why don't you tell him yourself, Arrow? <laughs> yeah? Well, I might. If he was ever game to get too close to me, I'd... I... What, like now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not going after him, sire? 
You almost had him. Ah, it's too easy. No challenge in Arrow. He never learnt the skills of the chase like Thor. Arrow's a wimp. Won't see him for a while, your vociferous vocalness, eh? No. Arrow or Thaura? Arrow? Oh, you won't see Thaura. He's too smart and light on his feet. What? <laughs> I was just going to say that Thaura is too smart and too scared of you to approach your daughters. Fancy Arrow thinking he could impress those fillies. Speaking of fillies... What about the one from the south? I gave you a job. What? The, the uh, uh, well, who? Oh, uh, pardon? To find her and find out all about her. Oh, but I'm exhausted. So? <sighs> so, I'm going. <laughs> and so strong. What a magnificent young stallion, isn't he? Who is he, Kookaburra? <laughs> hmm, peculiar bird. Perhaps that Brumby is the one my father sent me to find and get help from. <laughs> Handsome? Well, there's so many, aren't they, Mew? Oh, indubitably. Many handsome Brumbies. Brave? Not a lot of brave. Uh, quite a lot of reasonably courageous. Or not easily scared. Oh, a lot of not easily scared. And strong. Ah, strong. Uh, yes, well, I always find strength a hard notion to clearly define. Perhaps... And chestnut. Chestnut? Arrow? Oh, couldn't be arrow. Handsome, brave, strong, fast? No, not Arrow. I well, don't know who you're talking about. Sorry, we couldn't be of more help. Out of the way, out of the way. Ouch! Step aside, step aside, Wombat coming through. Oh, it's you, Wombat. Perhaps you know the chestnut stallion I've seen. Chestnut, black, grey, silver, brown, I know them all. And they're always where they shouldn't be, in me way. But this one is special. No time to gossip. Things to do. Hey. Oh, look out of it. If it's not a Brumby, it's a flaming kangaroo. Hmm. There's no doubt about Wombat. He needs a path all of his own. Benny, good to see you. How are you? Gunda, I've been looking for you. Thara knows you're here. If we wait down by the river, perhaps he'll meet with you. Come on, I'll show you the way. If it's Thara. You'll know, Gunda. A future king is always easy to spot. Hmm. Actually, I think I've seen him already. Galloping with the wind. A magnificent chestnut stallion. Chestnut? That's not Thara. <laughs> it is possible on a hazy day to mistake Arrow for a magnificent stallion. Could have been him. What do you mean? If it was this Arrow you mentioned, he must come from a proud and noble family. He and Thara had different mothers but the same father. The mighty Yaraman, most noble king of the Cascade Brumbies. We southerners know of the mighty Yaraman. The chestnut is his father's son. Takes more after his mother. A mean-spirited, boastful mare if ever I saw one. I have to go now, Gunda, but you'll be safe here until Thara arrives. But just a word of advice. Beware of the Brolga. He's Thara's sworn enemy. Yes, I've already had one encounter with him. I'm told it was Thara who headed him off. I'll be on my guard.
she's looking for a strong, brave young horse. Who is? The filly. What filly? The one from down south. Beautiful she is. Young and beautiful. Oh, yes, indeed. And looking for a young, brave, strong chestnut. I, I wonder, wonder who, who she means. means. Hmm. I've no idea. No. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Oh, Farah, I'm so pleased to meet you at last. The pleasure's all mine, Gunda. I... I want to thank you for saving me from the Brolga. <laughs> I want to thank you for saving me from the Brolga. Bah, humbug. He won't be so mighty when good old Brolga gets to hear of this. <laughs> the Brolga's spy. I wonder what he's up to. Boon Boon, look down there. Clara. But... but look who's with him. I'm sure... I'm almost sure that's my sister. Your sister? Talking to Thara. I never thought I'd see her again, or any of my family. Best wait here till they finish chatting. Then we can find out everything. Does this mean I'll have to go home, Boon Boon? I love my sister, but I also like it here with you and Thara. We'll find out soon enough, don't worry. Whatever happens will be for the best. My father's getting old. He was torn with grief when the wild storm scattered our herd. He thought his favourite son was gone for good. Then we heard news of an orphan foal far to the north. Hmm. I think your search may well be over, Gunda. And mighty Brolga, she thinks Thara is the greatest. The greatest what? You know your educated effectiveness. The greatest. <laughs> the way Thara saved her from you is the talk of the high country. <laughs> <laughs> the kookaburras are laughing about it. <laughs> the emus are the, 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 the gossiping about it. <laughs> all right, all right, your old powerfulness. Enough, enough. Show me where they are, Karawong. This instant. Aye, aye, mighty magnifico. <laughs> Urala, I was afraid I'd never see you again. Me too, sis. You're a sight for sore eyes. He's been well looked after, Gunda. And learnt a lot. You couldn't get better teachers than Thara and Boon Boon. I can see Urala's very happy here. And by the look of it, doesn't want to leave. But your father... will be very pleased to know that his son has such good friends and mentors. He'll know it's for the best. It's not that I don't love you and father, Gunda. And I do want to see the herd again. It's just... I know, little one. But the day will soon come when you have to take up your rightful position as leader of our herd. Let's hope for your father's sake. That isn't too soon. When the time comes, Urala will know, and we'll make sure he heads south with our blessing and our love. We'll leave you two to spend some time together. Come on, Thara. Benny? was fast and strong, did she? Very impressed she was. I asked everyone about you. Best finder, eh? Introduce myself. Impress her. Show her what I'm made of. Could be a good idea. Hmm, could be. According to legend, the mighty Yarraman brought his herd to this place many years ago. The mighty Yarraman? Thara's father, right? Right. Well, this was his kingdom until... We meet again. I am the Brolga. The mighty Brolga. King of the Cascade Brumbies. Of all the Cascade Brumbies and feared by all. And you are a stranger. A very beautiful stranger, so I'm told. Mm. Not being a Brumby myself. <laughs> <laughs> you are a stranger trespassing on my territory. However... If you want to join my herd, you may be able to stay. 
Where we come from, we welcome a stranger who comes in peace, not challenge them. My father is a king, and he doesn't need any mangy bird to speak for him. <laughs> mangy? I heard that. I came to find my brother, and now I have found him. And I will go home and tell my father of the rudeness of the king of the north. I wouldn't stay in any land ruled by a king I didn't respect. Yeah, so there. What? Why? <laughs> Come on, your brother. Don't take any lip from the mercurial meanness. Go thrash them, sire. <laughs> <laughs> Sis. Oh, yes, you were very brave, but we must be cautious. Where is that Karawang when I need him? We could find them in an instant. The Broger? Again? <laughs> what? Why, that? He always turns up when he's least wanted. Come on, Broger! Catch me if you can! <laughs> Not this time! I'm staying right here till that filly emerges. Thaura's ploy hasn't worked. The Brolga hasn't budged. Patience is a virtue. If I wait long enough, something will happen. And when it does... Uh -huh. Look, it's the chestnut. Chestnut is right. That's Arrow. Oh! It's her. It's my admirer. <laughs> Hi, guys! Oh, shh! Be quiet. Stay away. <laughs> I heard you're looking for a brave, strong, fast chestnut stallion. Not anymore. You've probably given us away. We're hiding from the Brolga. <laughs> this warrants investigation. <laughs> While you have the chance. <laughs> you two make such a charming couple. Your time will come, Thaura. Your time will come. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, stupendous El Supremo, that's the way. You cool off after giving that arrow a much-needed thrashing. Oh, what a charge, what a charge! And did you see the way the others scattered? <laughs> Terrified they were, mighty masterdom. Your reputation of being the fiercest, strongest king of the Cascade Brumbies ever is now beyond dispute. Dispute? Dispute? Since when has there ever been a dispute? Oh, uh, well, there are those that say, uh, that say, uh... Say what, Karawan? <laughs> Spit it out. Th that say, in fact, that uh, Thaura's father, the mighty Yaraman, was... Mighty Yaraman? <laughs> I crushed the mighty Yaraman in battle and took his herd. Absolutely, sire. That's what I keep telling them. And the fact that he was twice your age had no... <laughs> now, what was that about age, Karawang? Uh, 
nothing in it, sire. That's what I told him. Just like there's nothing in the idea that just because you're twice Thaura's age, it won't be long before... <laughs> The old war horse missed me that time. <laughs> oh, if only I could get my beak around a screen. Did you see me? Straight up that hill and boy, did I give the brogger a well-deserved hiding. I did it to save you and your Alaguna. No thought for my own safety. Oh, gee, Arrow, I, I don't know how to thank you. We watch out for each other. So I see. Yorel is safe here, and he's in good company. No need for me to stay around. I'll give them the good news that he's still alive. It's a long journey. Take care. Maybe someone should go with you. It'll be my pleasure, Gunda. I know the way. And as I was telling you, I, I'm the bravest horse in the high country. Couldn't think of anyone better. Yes! It's a great idea! I could do with a change of scenery. Who knows? Might even like it down south. Hmm. Might even stay. Oh, well, Arrow, it's a very generous offer, but I'm sure I'll be all right on my own. <laughs> oh, well, well, let me think about it overnight. So Arrow is thinking of leaving the high country. He seems to have taken to Gunda a lot more than she has to him. But does she really want Arrow to tag along with her? At least she knows that her young brother is going to be in good hands. <laughs>